quarter, it was a little over 75 percent. But at the same time, if you break it down, Jan was 73 percent, Feb was 80 percent, March it came down to 68 percent. Can you explain to us what happened and is this sustainable in the first quarter and FY24? Well, good afternoon, Mangalam. Uh, well, if you ask me, it's not sustainable. It has, it will, in fact, increase the occupancy mm -hmm. because uh, when you look at a quarter, remember that each month has a different demand supply dynamic. So, focusing purely on demand, uh, in uh, typically in March of every year, for all hotels, there is a drop in demand because uh, it's the year end and people do not travel so much. Typically, in the last two weeks. Uh, in addition, in March this year, you have, uh, in our case, we have a very large inventory in South India. And you had the Ugadi festival. So that affected mm. about 30% of our inventory, mostly in Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Chennai, uh, which is why, as we normally have every quarter, every year, in March, a lower occupancy than February. So, you know, each month is different. You have to understand that in uh, January, the business is muted in the first two weeks of January because nobody wants to travel, it's post New Year's. So peak season is mid-January mid to mid-March. So really you capture two months out of three. Mm -hmm. And to answer your question, I may be tired, but I don't think demand is tired. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, that's a good way to put it. I mean, demand is not tired at all. <laughs> you go out there and it's really hard to even get bookings these days. Forget about, you know, looking at the, what the rates are. Those are astronomical in any case. But you're saying occupancy will increase from these levels. Uh, just going by the trend, right? I mean, on an average, what do you think a sustainable occupancy will be? You've been between this range of 70 to 80 percent on an average. Uh, is this the level that you can hold? And what does this mean in terms of profitability? So, what, see, profitability is a function, really, Sonia, not only of uh, occupancy, but the rate that you get. So, our rate has gone up significantly from uh, pre-COVID. So, really, post-COVID, we decided that we would revise and re we reviewed and then we said we would revise our pricing and we did it by about 20%. In fact, overall, on a pre- to post-COVID basis, our pricing is up about 30%. But that's not really so much because that's three years and there has been significant hmm. inflation. So uh, the, the bottom line is at current pricing levels and current occupancy levels, uh, I typically expect a return of capital, at least on the deployed capital of Lemon Tree, of about 15 16%. And I am very sure that within the next year, it will increase to about 20 to 22% in terms of return on capital which means right. that pricing will go up and occupancy will go up. All right. Uh, so that's about uh, the pricing and occupancy. Just wanted to understand a little on your FI24 guidance itself, because I remember the previous conversations that you we would have, you would uh, talk about 20% growth in FI24, but now you've become a little, um, you know, uh, you, you don't want to provide uh, specific guidance with regards to growth expectations on the top line and bottom line in FI24. What makes you circumspect? Could you give us a range, ballpark range that we're looking at? And uh, margins, mainly because you will renovate a couple of properties in the Keys portfolio too. So we will really renovate about 60 hotels, 50 to mm -hmm. 60 hotels. Not completely, but say one third each. So when you look at it from an inventory basis, we will renovate about 20% of all our hotel rooms. Uh, so that will obviously, uh, we expect to complete that by the end of H1 uh, so that we can capture pricing and demand in H2. The reason I am circumspect is because there is a lot of, uh, you know, w one thing that you have to understand in our business, and it is an interesting uh, part of our business, it is that if you look at any hotel company, any hotel in India, four months out, the demand on its books, the book demand is very low. It is one or two or three percent. So there is a booking window within which demand comes. And interestingly, because of the general uncertainties and so on and so forth, the booking window has shrunk in India in the last five years. So, you know, if I do any forecasting, it is obviously based on, on current demand for a future date. And this shrinkage of the window is what is affecting our ability to forecast. Then there is the overall macro. So, you know, the war in Ukraine, uh, interest rates, uh, inflation, and so on and so forth. Sure. So 
I don't want to give guidance, but really what I want to say is that we will grow. Uh, our momentum will continue. And okay, so our will increase. That's all. What, what do you mean when you say momentum? Because, I mean, last year, of course, was an aberration. You grew 2x in revenue and, you know, your margins were upwards of 50% as well. So, um, what exactly do you mean momentum? Is it the last three-year CAGR, five-year CAGR? Should we look at, you know, three-year CAGR plus plus? Uh, just wanted to understand that. Are you an editor or are you are an analyst? That's, that's <laughs> oh. a question an analyst would ask. <laughs> well, well uh, I mean, an analyst editor, if you can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the way I look at it is there is, uh, when I say momentum, I mean, well, I'm not taking any specific trend line. All I'm saying is that when things settle, the dust settles, when you reprice, you lose some demand. The bottom part of your uh, pricing, uh, you know, because your pricing is in a bell curve. So when you increase pricing, obviously a bunch of customers who were using you at the bottom quartile of your pricing may find you unaffordable. So the whole thing is when you reprice, you are really looking to replace that bottom quartile. So there is a catch-up factor. So what I really said in my last few conversations, including with you, was that we would reprice, we would lose some demand, and then we would look to replace it. So really what you're seeing in Q4 is a replacement, and we've come back to about mid-70s. Now the question is, how much do we reprice and how much do we replace this year? So to answer, you know, instead of giving you a long-winded answer, let me just say, we are very confident we will increase our occupancy and our average rates and maintain our price structure in this coming year, which means basically an expansion in margin and an absolute expansion in the amount of EBITDA we generate. Okay, so you know that doesn't bode too well for people like us who are... <laughs> Uh, perhaps going to you know come and stay at your hotels at some point, right? I mean, you said that average room rates are 30% higher than what it was pre-COVID levels, and now you're saying there is scope to increase it further. I mean, when is this going to stop? And uh, I will, I will ask, Sorry, sorry, Sonia. What's the favorite thing you buy in consumer discretionary? Have you looked at the pricing f four years ago and today? Are you saying it remained flat? Surely it went up by 20, 30% over a four-year period. Hmm. Why are you depriving a poor industry like ours? <laughs> well, by no means are you I poor. By no <laughs> means are you poor. And by no means are you guys deprived. I mean, this is like a boom period, something we haven't seen in a while. No, but, you know, no, I'm only... No, no, the boom period will be next year and the following year. If you, you ain't seen nothing yet. Let me tell you that. Oh, as far as... <laughs> I take that point, all right. Uh, well, when you are uh, booming ahead, we only wish for further boom to be, uh, you know, in the, in the next year. And may always the best year be ahead of you and not behind you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Keswani, for joining in. And we will continue our conversation through the quarter as well. But, Sonia, Maruti numbers, exports are down 2.6%. We have some numbers coming in on the domestic front as well. Oh, yes. And before that, you know, I just want to say that if you're planning...